Hello guys, now we are going to talk about the Power PI desktop and this is a great tool for data analytics and uh, absolutely you know the Power PI desktop and it's, this is the desktop not the service it means that this is a free tool and also you can sign up by your uh, company email or your school email anyway let's uh, go directly to the options and to the Power PI desktop here when you open the desktop you have this interface so just to close it if you would like you can get started here by signing up or just to close this one and you have this the plain report here now first thing first let's uh, adjust our settings let's go to file and options and settings options this uh, adjustment for the settings is necessary uh, because let's let's see when you open this one we have a lot of options now we care about the preview features and make sure that all these are unchecked this is this means that power bi will not detect any relationships between the tables because sometimes if we make any of this are checked uh, the power bi maybe will be um, connect a table to another one in wrong way so I need to build the connections and the bonds by myself. So make sure this all are unchecked. Again, let's go to original settings and here make sure it's not uh, English United Arab Emirates or another where it may it, it will be English United States. That means for the date and for the numbers, it will be uh, in correct way. And also, yes, we have all the all these. It's okay. And that's it. Now we are ready to connect our data. We have the visualization tools here on the right side. We have the filter. We have the fields here. All the connecting tables it will be listed here. Let's take an example. For example, uh, the Power BI you can to the Power BI you can import any source of data. For example, if you go to Get Data here. Uh, you can choose the Excel, Power BI database, SQL Server, text, web, and all these things. Now here, let's connect our data. As you see here, before we connect the data, let's explain some features for the Power BI. Here we have pages, just like Excel's. You can add an, a page, you can delete it. And here we have the options here, insert for images, shapes, text and for modeling also this is just for DAX or query and the view will come to this later and we are here in the home tab let's get the data and mm, let's choose this one text CSV file it means that I will import um, an Excel file so let's choose this one uh, I don't know where is it maybe here For example, let's take this one, the categories. Yeah, we connect the Hariri Analytics product categories. And as you see here, we have this one, we have the file origin. This is the origin of the file, the delimiter it will be comma and the data type detection it means that I need Power BI to detect the first 20 hundred rows or don't detect any data type or based on entire data set. So uh, let's make it by default based on first 20 rows. And here we can load it directly here, but the best practice is just to transform data or in other uh, versions in the Power BI, it will be here edit. So let's uh, transform the data just to shape it, clean it and so on. So we have a Power Query Editor here, and we have the data set that we just imported. As you see here, it it's listed here, the bikes, components, clothing, and accessories. It's listing here. Actually, anything I do, it will be, this is like a log in applied steps. So for example, let's um, add a new one, right click, and make a duplicate column as you see it's here and you can just uh, delete it and it will be back 
here you are uploading the data, uh, cleaning the data, shaving the data, all the things you need to do in this page or in this preview. And after you finish cleaning the data, you just close and apply. That's it. Yes, now it's uploading. It took time. It takes time. Because this is a uh, huge data. So now we are here. We have the, let's change the name. The name, let's name it our project. Don't worry about that. We'll see it in the next. As you see it here. Now, this is the report uh, panel. Let's go to the field. And as you see, this is all the table here. Let's go, for example, the category name. You see at the table here. And here we have the model, the connection. This is the table. And later on, we'll add another table and make a connection between them. That's it. Uh, an easy way to connect a data, an Excel file to Power BI shave it, clean it, uh, maybe the data will be shaved and cleaned and you just import it, uh, you shaved and cleaned in the Excel and you just import it. Uh, that's it, an easy way to import uh, data to Power BI. Next lecture or next video, uh, we'll discuss how we can create a great dynamic dashboard. See you guys.